Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing the 5 looks 1 palette with the Pat McGrath Holiday Palette. This right here is the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey Palette. I already did a review video where I showed you all of the swatches and gave you guys my first impressions on the palette. Plus I did two other looks in that video. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely do so after this one. But in this video we are only going to be doing looks and so I'm going to show you five other looks that you can do with this palette. I've had a lot of fun creating them so far because the palette has different pops of color that are very fun and make the looks unique. And so yeah, I can't wait till you guys see it. As always, please let me know down in the comment section, one through five, which look did you like the most? Just vote down in the comments. And of course, feel free to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Now with that said, let's go ahead and begin with look number one. Okay, for the first look, I'm going to start with the color Sunrose Amber on the crease of my eye. This is like a really nice mid-tone brown type of a shade. And I'm using my Refer Number 15 brush. I'm first just kind of tapping it all over because I didn't set my primer. And so it's not going to drag <laughs> nicely. But now that I pressed it where I want it, I'm going to start blending around that area. I'm going to hold my skin back here for a second because again my eyelids are currently sticky. I should have set them I think and if you hold it it's not going to create any fold lines or anything so that's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to intensify it a little bit and I don't have to hold it anymore because now we have a thin layer of powder down from when we first applied it and you guys can see this makes for a really beautiful transition shade and also a nice wash of color on the crease. Switching to my refer number one in the color Nocturne, I'm going to start by tapping it right on the outer corner of my eyelid. Tap, tap, tap it. And now that I placed it there with the tip of my number one brush, I'm going to do little circles around that area so that I can blend it into the crease color. I'm not supposed to be seeing any shimmer, so I think that's left over from me not cleaning my brush properly, but that's okay. Okay, so you can see how nicely that blended into the previous color just by doing our little circles around where we put the shade. With my refer number two brush, I grabbed the color Nirvana and I'm going to put it in the center of the eyelid and start tapping it over the brown shade on my outer corner and I'm just tapping it all over the area where I want the color to be up to the crease here. This is such a beautiful shade. Back with my refer number one brush and a little bit more of that dark brown shade and I'm just patting it all over the area again and a little bit over the edge of the shimmer. And once again, with the tip of the brush, we're going to blend it up into the crease ever so slightly. Okay, just like this. And now with my refer number 28 and the color Lunar Haze, I'm going to do the inner third of my eyelid here. And I'm just patting and dragging that color. And I'm tapping it over the edge of my Nirvana shade and a little bit right here over in the center. Back with my refer number two and a little bit more Nirvana and I'm tapping it over the center of the eyelid again. Okay, so just like this, this is the top of look number one right here. So far, I'm loving it. I'm going to do my face makeup and I'll be right back and we'll finish it up. By the way, not much fallout. I have like a couple of specks right there, but that's it. Back with some makeup on and I went ahead and applied eyeliner in my waterline and the eyeliner I applied is from Chanel in number 30 Marine. Of course, it'll be linked down below. So now let's finish up this eye look and I want to use the color Nirvana right underneath my eyes. This is my refer number three brush right here and I'm going to apply it from my tear duct area back and I'm just going to leave the outer third of the under eye without it. Switch to my refer number 26 and the color Nocturne and I'm going to do the outer third of the under eye. Make sure it connects back here. And then with my refer number 13 and the color Sunrose Amber, we are going to smoke out the lower lash line just back and forth with the number 13 brush. Lastly, I'm just going to retouch the inner corner with a little bit of Lunar Haze and the refer number 28 brush. Okay, and here is the final first look before mascara or lashes. 
I really, really love the way that it turned out. Here's look number one, just with some mascara on, no fake lashes yet. Here I am with some falsies on, and this right here is the final first look. Like I've mentioned to you guys before, I love to do falsies whenever I do my eye looks because when I take my eyeball pictures for the thumbnail or for Instagram, it looks a hundred times better when I have falsies on. So that's why I almost always do falsies when I do my five looks one palette videos. Plus, I just really love big, thick lashes, you know? Let's go ahead and move on to look number two. I'm going to start look number two with the color Electric on my crease and I'm using my refer number 27 brush to diffuse it. I'm doing back and forth windshield wiper motions and just blending it all over the crease of my eye. If you have any trouble moving it, do little circles all around the area like this and that should blend it out really easily. Going all the way in right here. And I didn't have any trouble blending this one because my primer was a little bit more dry than when I started my first look. With my refer number 14 brush and the color Saturn Sunset, I'm going to darken up the inner part of my eyelid here. And I'm just tapping it on that area. And now with the tip of my refer number 14, I'm going to start blending it upwards a little bit into that crease color we placed down and through the crease right here in the center. A little bit more of Saturn Sunset and I'm going to darken up the outer corner of my eye. So I'm first tapping it in place and then I'm going to start blending it into my crease color once again. With my refer number 28, I grabbed the color Heavenly Body and I'm going to put it right here all over the center of my eyelid. It looks like we're going for a monochromatic pinky look today. I was thinking of doing something completely different on my eyelid, but I thought this would look really good. So I'm just tapping and swiping it a little bit all over the center of the eyelid. And that is a beautiful, beautiful metallic shimmer shade. I'm defining my eyelid right here where my eyeball ends, right? Instead of stopping where my eye folds because I have hooded eyes. So if you have hooded eyes, make sure that you finish your eyelid where your eyeball is because that'll make your eyes look bigger. And then back with my number 14, nothing added. I'm just going to make sure my colors are blending over the edges here. Okay, so this is the top of the second look right here. I'm going to do my face makeup and I'll be back and we'll finish it up. Okay, back with makeup on and I went ahead and used my Pillow Talk eyeliner in my waterline on this eye. I grabbed the color Heavenly Body on my refer number three and I'm going to back and forth blend it right underneath my lower lash line here. I wiped off that same brush and I grabbed the color Saturn Sunset and we're going to place it on the outer corner of the under eye and also right underneath the tear duct area here. And then with my refer number 13, I grabbed the color Electric and I'm going to smoke it all out underneath my eye back and forth with that number 13 brush. Lastly, with my refer number 28 and the color Galactic Glow, that's going to be my inner corner color. So I'm just tapping it on the inner corner of the eye, blending it into the lid a little bit right here. Okay, so this right here is the second look before mascara or lashes. Anyways, let me go ahead and put on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back to show you the final second look. Here's look number two with just mascara on. Okay, back with some lashes on and this is the final second look with this palette. I absolutely love the way it came out. I love halo eyes. I love pink looks. So what's not to like about this one, right? And the lashes I'm wearing are Ardell Wispies. Let's go ahead and move on to the third look. Let's begin the third look and this one is going to be pretty fall and I went ahead and skipped matte shades. I used all shimmer shades for this one. I have it on the other eye already so let's just get started. The first color I used was Bronze Eclipse. I have it on my refer number one brush and I am just packing it on the outer corner of my eye first. After I have it nice and intense back here, I'm going to start blending it on the crease by doing little circles around the edge of it and windshield wiper motions to distribute it. 
because this is going to be the outer corner color but also my crease shade so just back and forth blend it and make sure you don't have any harsh edges up here next with my reference number two i grabbed the color corrupt copper and this is going to be the center color for my eyelid so i'm just packing it all over the eyelid here nice and intense and this color just screams fall so i wanted to use it today back with my number one and a little bit more bronze eclipse i'm darkening up the outer corner and also making sure that the colors transition nicely into one another since they're both shimmer colors it's a little easier for them to blend nicely with one another and with the other side of my refer number two brush and the color solar flare i'm going to do the inner third of my eyelid and just blend it over corrupt copper a little bit this is pretty much the top of this look i'm going to do a half wing as well to give it a little bit more character a little more personality I went ahead and did my half wing, which actually went three quarters of the way in, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup and I'll be right back to finish up look number three. Back with mascara and lashes on, on the top side and underneath the eye, I used the Rich Brown Eyeliner from Patrita. To finish up this look, I'm going to use the color Bronze Eclipse on the tip of my refer number 13 and I'm going to go back and forth and blend it out. Just back and forth with my refer number 13. For my inner corner, I grabbed a little bit of Galactic Glow on my refer number 28 just to lighten up the look a little bit. And this is the almost final look. I'm going to go ahead and put mascara underneath my eyes and I'll be right back to show you the final third look. Okay, back with mascara on underneath my eyes and this right here is the final third look. Who needs matte eyeshadows, right? I really like the way that this came out. It looks really nice and elegant. The shimmer shade doesn't look obnoxious on my crease. And I love that copper color in the center of the eyelid because it is super appropriate for this time of year. So yeah, this is the third look. Let's move on to look number four. Let's begin look number four. I have my refer number 21 brush and the color Noir Moon. And I'm going to pat this color all over my eyelid. Pat the color, build it up real nicely. We're going to do a very dark night smoky eye with it. I love a glittery black smoky eye, so we have to go for it. Okay, patting it on the outer corner, just all over my eyelid space. I know this looks scary, but just bear with me. I have a clean refer number one right here. And I'm just going to go back and forth through the edges that I created and start smoking out this glittery black shade. Just soften your edges with it. Back and forth with my refer number one. And the reason I did it like this is because there isn't a black matte shade in this palette. So we have to obtain the dark smoky feel from the shimmer black matte. See how the edges are starting to soften a lot? And I haven't done anything but just blend them out. Honestly, if you blend it enough, this could be like a one and done type of look because I feel like my edges are soft enough, right? I tapped my brush into the color Sun Rose Amber and I'm going to back and forth blend it over the edges of the black just to add a little bit of dimension and maybe blend it a little further. I'm actually so happy with the way that that turned out. I thought it was going to be harder to get to like this level of like blendability but it was pretty easy. I'm going back with more of the black shade and I'm just going to retap it on my eyelid just in case it's not looking as intense as it was at first right here on the eyelid area. You can see we did have quite a bit of fallout from blending that very shimmery color so much so we are going to clean it up and if you do this look just make sure that you do your eyes before you do your foundation. Okay so after cleaning up a little bit underneath my eye this is the top of the fourth look. I'm going to do my face makeup and I'll be right back and we'll finish it up. That was so easy. <laughs> Back with some makeup on, let's go ahead and finish the fourth look. Besides putting foundation and concealer on, I also went ahead and tightlined my eye with the black eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is Bedroom Black. 
And with the Refer number 3 brush, I have a little bit more of Noir Moon, and I'm going to back and forth, place it underneath my lower lash line, all the way to the tear duct area from the outer corner back here. And with a little bit of Sunrose Amber on my Refer number 13 brush, I'm going to diffuse the lower edge of my under eye, just kind of smoke out that black shade ever so slightly. The same way we did on the top of the eye. It was looking a little bit too brown underneath the eye, so what I did was I went back to the black shimmery shade, Noir Moon, with the refer number 13 this time, and I just smoked it out on top of where I put the brown, basically, and that made it look the same way it does on top, rather than having brown underneath the black. I'm hoping that made sense, but basically I just want it to be a black smoky eye. I didn't want that brown transition color to show up too, too much. And finally, I'm going to use Galactic Glow once again as my inner corner highlighter. And I'm applying it with a refer number 28 brush. Okay, so here's the fourth look before mascara or lashes. Let me go ahead and do some of that and I'll be right back to show you the final fourth look. Here I am with just mascara on before the lashes. Okay, back this time with lashes on and this right here is the finished fourth look. I think this might be my favorite look I've done so far. And it's crazy because it was so simple. It was like two colors, right? Definitely let me know what you think about this one because personally I am loving it. Let's move on to the fifth and final look. Let's begin with look number five and I'm going to start with the color electric and I'm going to tap it on the crease of my eye. I'm using my refer number 15 brush and just tapping, tapping where I want the color to be. And now that the color's in place with the same brush, nothing added, I'm just going to blend the upper edge of what I just did by doing little circles around the edge with my refer number 15 or any big fluffy brush. Okay, that is looking fabulous. Now with a refer number one, I grabbed the color Nocturne and I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eye. Once again, I'm first tapping it where I want it, just like this. And now that I placed it, I'm going to start doing little circles around it to blend it into our first shade, which was that beautiful electric color. I think I'm supposed to say electric because it ends with Q-U-E instead of just with a C. Anyways, just blend that brown. I think I want to do a halo eye, so I'm putting the brown on the inner part of my eyelid and once again building it into the crease here. At this point, that electric shade is more like a peekaboo on the crease type of a thing. So I'm actually going to go back with a little bit more of it and help blend the brown and also just kind of intensify electric a little bit. I had put too much brown on the inner part, so I wiped it off a little bit. And back with electric on my refer number 15, I'm going to help blend that inner edge a little bit. Okay, this is looking better. Boom. So now with my refer number two, I have the color Citrine Envy right here. And that is going to be the center of my eyelid. I had to do a look with this color on this five looks, one palette video. And there is another look with this color. On the video where I reviewed the palette, there's two more looks on that video and one of them has this shade. So definitely check those out if you haven't already. And like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure that you put your shimmer up to where your eyeball ends up here. <laughs> A little bit more of the brown shade on my refer number one and I'm going to just tap it through the edges of my green to have a smoother transition. Actually with my number one brush I grabbed a little bit of bronze eclipse and I'm going to tap that over the edge of the green. I feel like that'll make it transition even better. Okay I don't know that I can tell much of a difference but in my mind it was going to help. <laughs> yeah I think you can see it. Here we are this is the top of look number five. Let me be right back with some face makeup on. Back with some makeup on and on the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to use the color Galactic Glow. I think this is the best inner corner color we can find in this palette. And I'm just tapping it in with my refer number 28. With a refer number 3, I grabbed the color Nocturne and I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my lower lash line. Make sure it connects to the top of the eye back here. 
I grabbed the green shade on that same brush and I'm actually going to put it in the center of the under eye. And a little bit more of the brown underneath my tear duct area. With my refer number 13 and the color electric, I'm going to just diffuse all of the under eye area, soften any hard edges back here, just back and forth with very light pressure and my refer number 13 brush. On my waterline, I went in with my pink eyeliner from Fenty to kind of like put it all together. This look is a bit much, but I really like it. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and do mascara and lashes and I'll be right back to show you the final fifth look. Okay, this is what we're looking with just mascara on before I put on some lashes. Back with lashes on and this is the final fifth look with this beautiful holiday palette by Pat McGrath. I think this is by far the most colorful look that I created and it's kind of like spring-summer-ish to me even though it's dark because it's got like pink colors and like a pretty vibrant green as well. I love halo eyes and I'm not mad at the combination of colors in this one, but it is a little bit different for me. So while I like it, I'm not sure if I love it. Take one final look right here. Okay, so that was all five looks with this beautiful Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey palette from Pat McGrath. I am dying to know which look was your guys' favorite, so if you haven't commented your favorite look yet, definitely do so right now. And my favorite look editing me is going to put on the screen right now because so far at the moment that I'm recording this I've only done looks one through three so I don't know what four and five look like yet so that right there is my favorite I think so far it's either one or three which is surprising because it's not the halo eye <laughs> I just really love the way that this one came out and I'm in the mood for fall and this copper color is giving me all of the vibes anyways thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up before you leave and if you're new to my channel I would love it if you are here to stay so please subscribe before you leave I love you guys so so much thank you for being here and I hope to see you back in the next video bye